now do this action of faith okay because of somebody that came over to your house now listen very well and by the way i welcome you to the gospel with each mile hello everyone let me put it properly hello everyone and welcome to the gospel with ishmael i think that sounds better okay may the lord bless you in jesus name you know like uh okay if maybe at some point you you are not sure on how you can you hear god how to know how to confirm let me assure you let me uh put it clear to you if the lord is speaking to you if the lord is responsible you will know and sometimes it comes in the form of maybe it's your thoughts whereas it's not and that can break it up when when jesus was asking the disciples do you remember when he was like what who do people say i am and they were like some say you are elijah some say you are one of the prophets uh, some say, is it John the Baptist? I don't know. I don't, I forgot that part. But then, like that. And then, but finally, the bottom line is like, he asked, like, so who do you say I am? And Peter was like, the Christ who was to come, the Son of God. And, you know, when he thought that was it, Jesus clarified that, listen, my man, such, you were, you, you didn't just say, but it was revealed unto you by my Father in heaven. That is why in this stone I shall be, in this rock I shall build my house, my church, through you in some other ways. Okay? So like Peter thought he was saying it because obviously the Lord Jesus had said it like covered last time that I'm the Son of God and all. And then, of course, if the disciples were to repeat it, even to anybody else. Do we get just gonna think, yeah, you are repeating it because that's what you told him and you believe him. But then there's some things that when you say them, it is no longer you. You might just think that it is you, but then you find that it is being motivated by God. That yes, you can say it because you had, but your conviction now, this time around, you are uttering it because you believe it, not because I said it, but because now. God has said it to you. That is why you are saying it the way you are saying. You might think like it. We might. Okay, it's almost like two people, right? We may all shout. This 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 person might say in the name of Jesus, and even this person, the second one, says in the name of Jesus. But you find that the the first one, when they say in the name of Jesus, nothing happens. They say the same name, right? But when this one says in the name of Jesus something happens in the spiritual realm a demon gets out a person gets healed how does it seem physically we all heard them say the name jesus but why could it why did the first person's name of jesus not work and the second ones worked the thing is the motivation the power the faith behind when the second first one said it, they said it out of cramming. But the second one said it out of genuine faith. There was a backing up of the power of God. They meant it. They, it's like they said it in belief. That is why it worked. So let me tell you likewise. There are a lot of things that you hear, but you have no idea who is behind it, who is talking. Let me tell you that God can make give you a motivation that go around the house and pray. You feel like you believe that if you can speak all over your house, praying, going around every 12 o'clock, things are going to happen. Listen, it will work. Let me assure you because you are doing it in faith. Sometimes God is the one who gave you that revelation, that belief, that faith. That's what the Bible speaks about. Some of the gifts of the spirit are the gift of faith. Having faith is a gift. You just like challenging yourself. You like putting yourself in those impossible situations and believe for God. You'll be like, no, I will not use this. And indeed, it works for you. Let me tell you, sometimes you might feel like praying for the anointing oil. I just love the fact that it is scriptural. 
both in the Old and the New Testament. I won't go into details on how to use the anointing oil, okay? If you don't believe in it, you can just say it's not for you. But I want to tell somebody, if you feel like you have faith, you feel like if you can have your anointing or you pray for it or you give to your elder pastor at church, do that. If you feel like just praying all over the house every 12 o'clock, you feel like it's going to do something, do that. Don't disobey that. It's going to work because that is what God is leading you to do. I know also myself when I had to pray for some situation, I just felt like this is my final option. I feel like if I can pray like this, I will see a change. And indeed, when I, I, I prayed like that, because listen, I could not have any other further revelation. I was like, but there's one thing I haven't done. And every time, time when I, I feel down and I be questioning God, what can I do about this situation? The only answer that comes is this. And even if I want to think outside of this, I'm like, okay, what if this doesn't work? What else can I try? I know I, I will be realizing that there is nothing else. This is the best. If this doesn't work, Lord, ah, I, 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 there's nothing. I'm pointless. It's like you didn't come through for me. And indeed, let me assure you, as I prayed in that manner, I saw God at the end. He came through. I got an answer. I got a solution. Likewise, you might be convinced because that the Lord knows what they have done. He will give you an instruction. There will be something that, uh, uh, that you might need to act upon that God is going to give you. Sometimes some people will be like, please, some they will even just come to me and be like, man of God, I feel led to come ask you to pray for me about this situation. That is where their faith is at. And I can tell you, if I pray, they will surely get a solution. I pray anything that you need to act upon, anything hiding in your house, Anything that you need to do, as long as it is scriptural and it is God-inspired, may God speak to you. May you know what to do and may you act accordingly. May, surely it, may it surely work for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. For example, some you can have the anointing oil. You just pray. You just Apply it, you know, almost like on the those door posts in the in Egypt when the Israelites were instructed to apply it so that the first bonds they don't pass, they you know the blood when they apply it. So there are those that you find that you believe they're in the anointing oil. Not that because you think anointing oil is a protection, it's just that some people they have a misunderstanding. That's why sometimes if something is not for you, it's just not for you. Okay, you don't have to discriminate, you don't have to to attack people who believe. So long as it does not take you back into things which, hey, that's scary kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like anointing oil, I'm saying again, that I'm, I like the first, like, was it James who said, is anyone sick? Ask for the elders of the church to pray for you, apply oil in the anointing oil, anoint you and pray to show that it's there. Kings will be anointed. So yeah, but myself, like, like I'm talking right now, I don't have an anointing oil of my own. I, like, do I even have, it's just that every time I would have an anointing oil, yeah, I, I'm not really into it, but I believe in it, but, but still, I know that some, you get what I'm saying? So that's, you got my point. May you, may you pray, may God help you in Jesus' name. Amen. And of course, you can book an appointment with me. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.